for that landmark case involving a driver wearing those futuristic computer glasses called Google Glass. A California woman was pulled over for speeding and then cited for distracted driving. And now a judge has ruled on the case. He was interested in knowing why I was wearing Google Glass while driving. I just explained this I wear all day long. And, um, and then he started to think that it was obstructing my eyesight. And the, I understand now, thinking it over, that from his angle, it was obstructing. Because he was up there, and that's exactly where Google Glass is up here. So that was his point of view. But of course, when you're driving, in your direct line of sight, it is not obstructing. There's no blind spot with this device. Cecilia Abadie says she'll keep driving wearing Google Glass after being found not guilty in traffic court for wearing the device behind the wheel. Late last year, Abadie became the first known driver to ever be ticketed for wearing Google's computer eyeglasses in the U.S. The CHP officer who gave her the ticket for wearing the device while driving on I-15 near Aero Drive, Keith Odell, claimed she was violating state code 2760, which says a person is not allowed to drive with technology, visually displaying a television broadcast or video signal that produces entertainment. Uh, she told you that she was not using Google Glass, is that correct? She stated to me that she wasn't on. Traffic Court Commissioner John Blair agreed the code does apply to Google Glass, but said the officer wasn't able to prove beyond reasonable doubt the glasses were actually on. And as a result, I grant the finding of not guilty as requested. I personally think it's open for interpretation, and that's the problem we have with that code. It's kind of too wishy-washy. It allows one person to say, yes, it applies, and the next person to say, no, it doesn't.